happy for her. So they have to be very careful about placement, and they have to work hard for these high percentage shots. And the first goal of the game belongs to Nicole Tiernan and Temple as they strike first. Grace Nolan, nice feed inside for Jordan, and we're tied at one. Here's Nicole Tiernan. Schwab back to Nicole, and she's got her second goal of the first half, Nicole Tiernan. And into this game with 30 points. Open goal momentarily. Finkelstein, what oh a save goodness. by Kakalechik. Gets to her feet, and UConn is able to finish. It looked like Grace Nolan on the second effort. What a sequence. Georgetown team that we saw against Temple to close out the regular season. Again, I think Ricky Fried has to be really happy with how his team played. And another score for Temple, this time Morgan Glassford. Once again, Rachel Schwab setting things up for the Owls. Glass half. This is their first ever time in the Big East tournament. Looking to qualify for the Big East championship. They have a two goal lead now as Kirsty Connor deposits her 22nd of the year. Has not moved yet. We'll see if we can get an official ruling at halftime. All right, thank you, Kim. As Grace Nolan cuts into this Temple lead with her second goal of the first half. Sometimes it's really hard to, to tell how many saves these goalkeepers are gonna be credited with. Well, what a look there for Brooke Jensen as Kakalechik went down to her knees to try to stop a low shot. Jensen fired it in just above her head, and we are all tied at four. Megan Tiernan has the angle and finishes. Had a bit of a statement shot there. There was a lot of power that went into that shot by Tiernan. She was not going to be denied on that possession. Her sister Nicole has already scored two as they're waving the flag for the Temple Owls. Megan Tiernan, her first of the night and her 26th of the season as she went by Allie Tilly to finish. And that was just a great individual effort. Let's send it back down to the sidelines and Kim. Well, Pat, right at halftime, Alexandra was carted off on a truck, so it does not look like she will be... Megan Tiernan, and nobody's stepping up to stop her. And takes it all the way in. Unbelievable. Turnovers. They had nine, which is a lot of turnovers in one half of lacrosse. Ooh, great look inside and a great finish by Kirsty Connor, who's having a very strong game. The senior from nearby Westminster. Port, Connecticut, Staples High School. Another score here for Temple, and they now have a three-goal lead, and it's another Tiernan tally. Or it's not, actually. I'm sorry. 47-17 confusion. It's a hat trick for Kirsty Connor. Tiernan's, when you think about Kakalechek, the goalkeeper, Summer Jaros, who does such a great job at the circle. A beautiful look inside, and Temple has extended to a four-goal lead. <laughs> and who else? <laughs> Kirsty Connor came to play. And perhaps the backbreaker, and that could be it for UConn. And there could be it for UConn right there. It's now a five goal lead. That's and another goal, the fifth of the night for Kirsty Connor. Absolutely. The senior class that has been the difference maker for Temple today. Free position shot, and Glassford buries it. That's her second of the game. Six straight goals for Temple. They lead 11 to 5. The Temple will get another crack at the Gators. And it will be interesting to see what they do as at this juncture of the game, UConn has to pull the goalie. You see that commonly in lacrosse. They need that extra defender. Into this game, and again, this was a very close game at halftime. It was tied here in the second half, and UConn finally breaks this streak off the free position shot by, I believe, Allison Fazio. Quick lead the other way go the Huskies. Fazio looking for another opportunity. Straight to goal, and there's two in a row for Allison Fazio with 22 seconds to go. Looking for Fazio, make it three in a row, why not? Lays this one off, one more save for Kakalechik. And the Temple University Owls are headed to the Big East Tournament Championship. They will meet the top seeded Florida Gators right here on Saturday afternoon.